Welcome back everybody to another episode of DGS. Today we are covering episode 4 of the Rent Magazine. And as you can see, this is going to be with Sherlock and Iris. I think this is one... This is a, more of an homage to the Sherlock Holmes book. Uh, I believe more towards the scandal of Bohemia, if you read that. Uh, it, it's just playing the running joke about how Sherlock does a certain thing in various situations in, the, in his... Uh, in his adventures. I think this is also still after uh, Natsumi's trial too. There's a lot of like the deal, the DLC episodes, a lot of them happen like somewhere between case uh, 4 and 5. Uh, it is March 9th, 8.23am at Holmes Room. Good morning, Iris-sama. Home-sama. Good morning, Susano-chan. I was just about to stop making breakfast. Um, good morning, Home-san. Hmm? What's the matter? You've got a glum look on your face. Yeah, actually. This morning, I found this strange envelope that had been slipped under the door to my room. There was something pretty odd inside. Something odd? Oh, what is it? What is it? My mysterious mystery senses are tingling! Inside it was five orange pips. Just... what the heck do they... Eh? D did you say orange pips? And there were five of them? What is it, Susato-san? That was a pretty melodramatic reaction. It wasn't melodramatic. I mean, those... Are a warning that someone intends to rob you of your life. That? My life? What's she talking about? Homesan. Who knows? Why would you ask me? Because look, the sender's name is written on the envelope, and it's yours. Eh? Ah, you're right. It says from Hell's Messenger, Holmes. <laughs> I guess I should have guessed that I'd be found out. You wrote your damn name on it! <laughs> Perhaps you recall the events that transpired during the tea last time- last night, Mr. Narahodo. Yes. Sasada-san made us all some Japanese food, right? That's right! There was a norimaki- norimaki that I intended to eat. But you snatched it right before my very eyes and tossed it in your mouth. Uh-huh. Weren't you finished, Homesan? Obviously, I was just saving it for last! Holmes, please! You should have been able to tell by the subtle movements of my right eye! I am not apologistic. Please give me a slightly more obvious sign next time. Anyway, I've given you a fair warning. You'll be shaking in your shoes if you know what's good for you. I had no idea. I thought maybe I could grow some rare fruits so I already buried the pips in the garden. If the person you're giving the fair warning to doesn't understand it, then there's no point in sending it, was there? Incidentally, if you wanted to know the meaning of those orange pips, you needn't look any further than this text. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. It's on sale at bookshops all across London. Oh right. It was finally published, wasn't it? I had a feeling it'd be a big seller. Yep. There are 12 short stories in it, see? So now I have enough spending money to last me a lifetime. My name has become even more famous. I have received a request from the King of Germany recently. Th that's really something. Well, the King insisted until the very end that he was just the owner of a fish store in the marketplace, though. Uh... Huh. But he was a fool if he honestly thought such a lie would fool my eyes. So, how did you figure out that he was actually a king? He made it himself look like a street rat and bathed himself in fish stink, but... Though he tried, he simply couldn't hide his habit of twitching his, the left eye of his... the left side of his mustache. That's... I expect nothing less from you, home sama Once I neatly wrapped up his case, he sent me a fillet of fish cod. I feel like we shouldn't rule out the possibility that he might really have been a fish vendor. Huh? Wait 
a second. I think I've been smelling something burning. You're right. And there's smoke. Does that mean... Fire! There's a fire! Yes, a real fire, folks! Hey! A uh, fire? Everyone, evacuate at once! Come now! Outside the mansion! Just a moment, please! I have to go back to my room for something. What are you talking about? If this place fills up with smoke, you'll burn to death! But I can't just let my favorite good luck tumble doll burn. Oh, my great Buddha! I've gotta run to the attic just for a minute! <laughs> You're so silly, Narada-kun! This is no time to be laughing, Ars chan If you don't get out now... It's alright. There was never any fire. Isn't that right, Holmesy? Eh? Right. Oh, I never dreamed I'd see that trick performed with my own eyes. This is like... something right out of a dream! Susato-san? <laughs> Quite right. It was me all along. You fell right into this supreme troublemaker's trap. S supreme troublemaker? What the heck? What was that for? It was only a simple psychological experiment. When a person thinks there's danger, they tend to automatically go for the thing they treasure most, next to their own life. I guess you Trevor and Mr. Tumble Doll most next to your own life, huh, Narada-kun? I'd really appreciate it if you just forget that ever happened. Um, did you know too, Susano-san? Yes, of course I did. It was in this novel, after all. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. It's on sale at bookshops all across London. I feel like I need to put like a little stamp that says sale, sale, sale or something. Now for just nine pounds or something. <laughs> uh, where are we? That, that again? I've used this trick to blow cases wide open. Yep, it was a pretty good idea, wasn't it? After thinking it up, he developed a habit of shouting fire everywhere he went. And after a while, there was no one left he could fool anymore. Yeah, that's right. There was a once-in-a-lifetime when I was known as Holmes, the boy who cried wolf. That has a sort of main characterish ring to it. But it seems that my prank ended in failure this time. After all, Iris didn't move a muscle. What do you mean? See, if everything had gone according to plan, Iris would have been the first one to spring into motion. Thereby revealing the place where she squirreled away her secret savings somewhere in this room, see? Secret savings? You have some secret savings, Arisama? This book is selling like hotcakes, see? And she's hidden the profit somewhere. That's what my reasoning has led me to believe. So, does that mean that you require funds, Homesama? Ah, I bet you want that new microscope that just came out, don't you, Homesy? That's right. I simply must have it, and I'm simply one pound short. No matter how many times I asked her, she wouldn't lend it to me. I had no choice but to use force, folks. Haha, <laughs> that Holmes, the boy who cried wolf trick, won't work on me. Ah, how could this be? Could you please try not to so seriously to... Could you, tr could you please not try so seriously to rob a ten-year-old girl of her spending money? This book is full of weapons like this that the detective can use. The orange pips and fire drill aren't surefire successes, though. What? I have plenty of others up my sleeve, you know. For example, what about the one I use in the story? The boss come fam- The- Boss- Who I'm rolling over all my words today. The boss come valley mystery. Just the title puts me on edge. It's the story of a certain famous detective who does a spectacular job of tracking some faint footprints at a crime scene. Footprints? The valley was in a difficult place, and the crime scene was overrun with footprints, but from among them, a single set of footprints stood out to me. That's home, Sama, for you. He's every inch the famous detective. You see, those eyes and eyes don't miss a single trace of evidence, no matter how small. I followed those footprints, and they led me straight to their, to their owner's house. So that 
It must have been the true criminal's house, then. No, to be honest, it was my house. Were you following your own footsteps? Eh? Those footprints. Well, they turned out to be my own footprints. He took the case, left our room, and headed for Boscombe Valley. Then followed precisely those footprints, but he left in the process and wound up back at our room again. Huh. Hey now, it wasn't as easy as it sounded, okay, folks? Regardless, the ability to trace footprints so precisely is the one that only I possess. That certainly is something. That's right. It is really something. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Anyway, after that, a series of events occurred that led me wrapping up the case in a highly satisfying manner. I can't help wondering what that series of events... about that. I can't help wondering about that series of events. Indeed! If you want more details, you'll do well to read this book. I'm sure Iris recorded it all very well. Yep, I recorded every bit of Holmesy's impressive accomplishments. Oh boy. Ah, uh, wait a second. I think I smell something burning again. I get it, Holmesans. You're a supreme troublemaker. Can we move on now? What? Well, what? This has nothing to do with me. Eh? Ah! There, there's smoke filling up the room! D don't tell me that this time it's a real... Fire! There's a fire! Yes, a real fire, folks! Ah! Uh, Susano-san, where are you? Out of the way, Mr. Narahodo! Uh, what are you doing, Holmesan? Holmesan! He smashed the decorative stone Napoleon bust on the floor. Uh, uh, there's something among the stone rubble. There's a crumpled wad of one pad notes. Uh, one pound notes. Now, everyone, evacuate! Outside the mansion! Pff, one pad. One pound. <laughs> gotcha, Holmesy! Eh? Iris Chan. I never would have guessed you'd hidden it in there. Uh, don't tell me this smoke was just. My supreme troublemaker instincts couldn't just sit idly by, see? Hey! One day they're gonna have a real fire and they're not even gonna move. Uh, then, Iris! Does this mean that indoor herb garden gardening set that was released last week? That's right. I just had to have it, but I was four pounds short. You told me I don't have any money. But I knew you had some secret savings hidden somewhere in this room. Uh, how could I have been totally taken in? By a child. Would you maybe not let yourself get taken in by a ten-year-old girl? Now then. I'll be borrowing this for a while, okay, Holmesy? Huh? What's wrong, Iris Chan? Hmm, I can't seem to find her. Susano Chan, I mean. Come to think of it, she went dashing up the stairs earlier, didn't she? <sighs> well, there she is. Oh, what are you all dawdling around here for? If we don't escape, the flames will. She totally got taken in. Now you can't insult Naruto for being taken in. Uh. Sorry, Susato chan It was just one of my innocent pranks. You know how kids are. With quite an impressive ulterior motive behind it. <laughs> These two. Sherlock and Iris are a terrifying combination. But I'm so glad we're all safe. Yeah, everyone aside from my hidden four pounds. So, what was it that you went to rescue, Mrs. Sato? Eh? Oh! Uh, no, um, it's, uh, nothing really. Ah! Oh, this is... The 
trial records from all the cases Naruto Kun's defended. There's so much. Huh? I see. Proof of all the clients you've helped by standing in court, eh? Su Susano san. Well, I am your legal aid, after all. I had to protect it at all costs, even at the expense of my life. There are Naruto Samas and my precious records. Oh, She's gonna make me cry. Me too! Unlike a certain someone who was only worried about his tumble doll. Ugh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and we are done. <laughs> there are still four more episodes left of the DLC, so we shall continue into episode five in the next video. So I'll see you guys then. And maybe I won't run over my words so much, Jesus Christ. <laughs>